service connections. In this segment, we will cover the service connections and power setup for the stainless steel bioreactor. Step one, using the appropriate hoses and tri clamp connections, connect the cooling water input to the technological skid and ensure secure and leak-free connection. Step two, similarly using the appropriate hoses and tri clamp connections, connect the return water line, water output to the technological skid and double check the proper attachment. Step three, connect the steam input to, to the technological skid and ensure appropriate connection. Step four, connect the compressed air input to the technological skid using the appropriate hoses and tri clamp connections. Pay attention to the proper alignment and attachment. Step five, connect the oxygen input to the technological skid using appropriate hoses and tri clamp connections. Ensure a secure and leak-free connection. Step six, connect the condensate discharge line to the technological skid using the appropriate hoses and tri clamp connections and double check the proper attachment. Step seven, connect the exhaust gas outlet to the bioreactor using the appropriate hoses and tri clamp connections. Ensure a tight and reliable connection. Step eight, using the supplied hoses and tri clamp connections, connect the steam inlet water outlet from the heating jacket uh, of the bioreactor to the technological skid and double check for proper alignment and attachment. Step nine, using the supplied hoses and tri clamp connections, connect the steam supply for the sampling port. Ensure a secure and leak-free connection. Step 10, using the supplied hose and tri clamp connections, connect the condensate discharge from the sampling port to the technological skid. Double check for proper attachment. Step 11, using the supplied hose and tri clamp connections, connect the condensate discharge from the gas line to the technological skid of the bioreactor. Ensure a tight and reliable connection. Step 12, attach the temperature, pH, dissolved oxygen, pressure, upper level, foam level, and optical density sensors to the respective cables and ensure proper alignment and secure connections. Note, the air supply to the bioreactor bio should come from a clean and dry source. Contamination from water and oil particles may lead to filter failure or system malfunction. Next, let's move on to the power setup. Step 13, before proceeding, ensure that the power switch of the control cabinet is in the off position. Step 14, connect the power cord to the power supply Please note that the standard set for the stainless steel bioreactor includes a built-in uninterruptible power source. In the event of a power supply interruption, the UPS can sustain the operation of the control cabinet for up to 15 minutes, ensuring continuous online data storage in the database. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the service connections and power setup for the stainless steel bioreactor. Please refer to the accompanying user manual for further instructions on operating and controlling the bioreactor.